Please stand for the flag salute. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students. This is the week of November 9th. I'm Nathaniel Atala. And I'm Citlali Garcia. Today we will be bringing you the latest school news and weather and, and this is the Quartzo update. update. To start off the show, let's check the weather around Lancaster with Logan. Hey guys, I'm Logan Meese bringing you this week's weather. Monday, we're going to have a high of 59 and a low of 30. It's going to be sunny all week, by the way. With Tuesday, we're going to have a high of 61 and a low of 39. Wednesday is going to be the same with another high of 61 and a low of 39. Thursday, we're going to have a high of 60 and a low of 35. Friday, we're going to have a high of 62 and a low of 37. Saturday and Sunday, we're going to have a high of 68 and 66 with lows of 39 and 37. Thank you so much. I'm Logan Meese. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Logan. Now for some school announcements. Mascot update. It is time to vote for a finalist for the Quartel mascot. Students and staff must log into their school account to vote. We encourage you to participate and have a voice. This is the vote that will put a name onto the final three. The mascots up for vote are the Quartz Hill High School Defenders, Rattlers, Ravens, Royals, or Quakes. Here are some important dates approaching. November 11th, the Quartz Hill will be celebrating Veterans Day, which means there will be no school that Wednesday. November 23rd through the 27th is Thanksgiving break, so students have those days off from school to regroup with their families and loved ones. Senior pictures are due November 7th. For questions or inquiries, please email Ms. Martinez, our yearbook advisor, at lmartinez at avhsd.org. Hey, Zitlali, we have a student-made segment that showcases the game Terraria. Really? Wow, that's amazing. Let's see what it's about. Terraria is a 2D sandbox with plenty to explore, craft, and fight. The most powerful weapon that you can craft in the game is called the Zenith. It's kind of a culmination of everything you've made on your journey. Uh, it can do a lot of damage with its best modifier, about 307. And for example, that, that's just how fast it kills them. Another example of how powerful the Zenith is, is fighting the first boss in the game. So, it spawns in, somewhere, and then... It's done. That's, that's it. Three difficult passes at the same time. Uh, the hardest part is summoning. There's one, there's two, there's three. Simple as that. Giant plant the boss in the jungle. A little bit longer than the others, but it's still really easy. The final boss in the game? Uh, just don't get hit and it should be fine. It helps, it has so much health, but it helps just drop so fast because it's hitting so much. That's why it's so powerful. Also, it idle lots of things. But just watch your health and make sure you're not in the And then, you should be able to feed it. Hopefully. But that is the hardest boss in the game. Defeated pretty easily. Well, while the weapon is really powerful, it's pretty complicated to craft, as you can see here. It takes so many swords and so many crafting things and so many bosses to defeat. It, it just takes a while to get, but it's definitely worth it for how good it is. Hey Nathaniel, why couldn't the leopard play hide and seek? I don't know, why? Because he was always spotted. 
Well, those spots are actually what allows the leopard to be so stealthy and hunt. But anyway, we'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Make the right choices. Slow the spread of COVID-19. Hey, you. Finally awake. You are trying to cross the border, right? Walk right into that imperial amphitheater. Same as us. And that thief. Totally love, bully. Except. Wow, doesn't that scenery look so nice? Wouldn't you like to fly through any sky? Well, now you can. Our innovative self-flying airplane allows you to fly through different skies effortlessly. Wow, look at this stalwart town. Our plane can automatically navigate you to some interesting sights. And can you believe this world's sublime nature? Welcome back students, and hey Nathaniel, did you know if you search for a SKU on Google, the content on screen will tilt slightly to the right? I did know that, but also, did you know that the fastest Rubik's Cube solving time is only about 4 seconds, and that was set in 2018? That's crazy! And now for some news around the AV. City of Palmdale is hosting two virtual community events on Zoom to gather feedback from residents about what features they would like to see at Melvin J. Corson Park, located at 10th Street East, between Palmdale Boulevard and Avenue R. The first meeting will be held on Thursday, November 5th, from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m., and will provide an overview of the discussion of park amenities. The second one will take place on December 2nd, from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. again, and will present a site plan for review and comments. Assemblywoman Christy Smith was clinging to a slim lead Wednesday in her bid to unseat Mike Garcia in a rematch for the 25th Congressional District Post. With initial vote counting completed from Tuesday's election, Smith had 50.5% 50, 50 of the vote to Garcia's 49.5%. According to results released Wednesday morning on the Secretary of State website, um, it was not immediately clear how many ballots still remain to be tallied in the race, and mail-in ballots can be received and counted for as many as 17 days after the election. Well, that puts a wrap on this show, but join us next week for more news. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm Nathaniel Wazalo. And I'm Citlali Garcia. And, and this, this has been, been the Quartz Hill, Hill Update. update.